know, to take, uh, you know, to take and make shots, you know, and, you know, thankfully I did, um, you know, I, I was getting nice open ones, you know, and there would be moments where I would drive and, I, and then collapse and then kick it out, you know, so the other team would get, I mean, so other players would get open ones. Um, you know, we, we, we played a good all-around game, and, you know, we, we'll be ready for tomorrow. And just to follow up, with Justin Starr, just to, you know, how, how much did that spark the team, or do you think it did spark it? <laughs> I definitely think it sparked the team. Just his energy that he came out with and just leading us like he has this entire season. Uh, it's always great to see that. And even I looked up and I was like, okay, he, he's definitely going. Let's, let's, <laughs> the rest of us kind of got to get going too. So he definitely uh, led us. We heard. Uh, Brandon Foster, Casper Star Tribune. I guess you guys get out to that 10 point lead at the half. Uh, just how important was it to come out in the second half? And you know, make sure you had that same energy level in, you know, those first two minutes. Here. Yeah, uh, like our coach said, you know, we um, pride ourselves on the first four minutes of the game and the four, for first four minutes of halftime coming out. Um, you know, our goal was to come out and, you know, give them no hope and, you know, and play as hard as we possibly can, you know, and, and that's what we did. Um, we did have some mistakes, but we played through them, you know, and we kept playing Cowboy basketball, you know, and that's, that's why we won. I guess, uh, you know, quick turnaround, obviously, in these tournaments. Uh, wh what do you guys need to do to make sure you have that same sort of energy against New Mexico? Um, I think partially we were able to do it tonight, just being able to rest a few of us, uh, myself, HD, uh, and JJ, and even other guys, just getting the full rotation and getting those minutes. But also, I, I think we're just prepared for this. We uh, opened the season in the Cayman Islands where we had to go back to back games. So I, I think we understand as a team what we have to do to be prepared to just come out tomorrow and just give it our all because uh, it's when to go home. Guys, I know you've, you know, Al, you've won games here. It's been a while since this team won games in this building, but just to get this first one the way you did, is that also kind of just nice to, to get the first one out of the way and, and move on to the next one? It's definitely nice to get the first one. And of course, it always starts with that, but just looking back on those years, and um, we just felt like we didn't come out with the best product, and, and this time I think we were just all bought into what Coach was giving us, and, and this time it really showed, and we put a Wyoming basketball up on the court tonight. Alan, it was obviously a big game from Justin, but you finished six of seven from the floor yourself. How big is it to have so much depth, in, you know, and especially in a game where you're not getting some scoring from guys like Hayden? Um, I think that's just our team in general. Um, teams really have to prepare for us because in any given night, uh, it could be any guy. So we just always play like that. We just share the ball like that, and we just always try to lift each other up. Um, even though tonight uh, AC didn't shoot it well, he was still out there encouraging guys and being himself. So we still want him to take those shots, and we still want to give him confidence. I know you guys were, you know, fighting for that first round by at the end of the year. It just didn't work out for you. But is this about kind of the ideal way that it could have gone if you did have to play a first round game to, you know, maybe get some confidence back and also get to rest some guys? I mean, the confidence was always there. Um, you know, it's nice to, uh, you know, play in the 20s and the minutes. Um, um, we, we know what happened, you know, in the regular season against New Mexico. Um, we'll be thinking about it and we'll be ready to play. Yeah, just kind of following up on New Mexico, the last time you guys got together, extremely high scoring game. How do you slow down an offense like that? You, you be patient, you take what they give you, and you make smart, you know, you make smart plays. Um, we, we don't play New Mexico basketball, we play Wyoming basketball. Um, take, you know, take what they give us, you know, obviously you take care of the ball, be smart on defense, you know, just, just play our game, we'll be fine. Are the Lobos maybe a team that you guys had your eye on coming into the tournament, hoping that you would get another chance to play them? I mean, we don't we don't really see it like that. Um, I mean, we just play whoever's in front of us. Um, but like I said, you know, we weren't we weren't sad that we're playing. <laughs> Anything else for our student athletes? Okay, I'll dismiss them at this time. Thank you, man. Yeah, <laughs> We'll now take questions for Coach Edwards. It's just, you know, how big was it, not just, you know, to get this win, but to, you know, like I said, come out strong in the second half and, and kind of put them away, so to speak. And, you know, we've seen this year where teams would make a run or, you know, but how big was that for this team in this tournament to, to put them away early? Well, again, like uh, the guys were saying, uh, the message <clears throat> was our only focus was San Jose State. Uh, didn't care about after. And we uh, entered the game with the mindset of the first four minutes, um, putting our points, uh, stamp on the, the game in a sense of energy, effort, uh, and playing Wyoming basketball, and then let it carry over. And I thought, you know, the same message came out in the second half. And what was great about it, especially when you start getting into tournaments uh, like this, uh, is being careful of trying to wear your guys down um, just to win a basketball game. 
So the fact that we had an opportunity to extend the lead um, gave us an opportunity to put some guys in the game that didn't play as much, but more importantly, rest the guys um, that we do look for uh, to play a lot of minutes. Not Hayden's best night shooting from the floor, but he's a guy who's been able to rebound consistently throughout his career and come back from these type of performances. What What's your message going to be to him going forward? Well, I mean, no different than what I said to him at halftime. Um, I thought he was uh, rushing um, and trying to wheel uh, his shots. And, you know, like I told him, you know, he's one of our scores. So it's not like I'm going to sit up there and tell him not to shoot. It's just let it come to you. But outside of the shots, you know, my thing was, was he doing a lot of the other things? And you look at the stat line, I was really impressed with the fact that he had six assists. Uh, and we actually tried to go to him early uh, in the first half uh, to try to get him some easy ones uh, before, you know, uh, the big ones would, would, would come in. But I thought his second half was better. I thought he was a little bit more composed. Um, and then at the end of the day, you know, with the type of player he is, you know, it's hard to say that, you know, he would have the same type of night two nights in a row. Coach, I know JJ hit, I think, three threes tonight, but um, overall it looked like he was taking a lot of high percentage shots. Is that, you know, something that's kind of contagious when you have a guy out there, you know, taking good shots and you're making? Well, you know, just getting prepared for the tournament, you know, I had a good sit down uh, with, with JJ. And um, I actually wanted to play him a little bit more at the point um, so that, he could have a little bit more of a Magic Johnson's mentality uh, versus a Michael Jordan mentality, uh, getting the guys going uh, and letting the game come to him. And I actually thought he did that. Even though he had 20 points in the first half, I didn't think it was rushed. I didn't think it was, um, I'm trying to find my offense uh, type of a night. I thought he really tried to get the other guys involved, uh, did a great job in the first half, rebounding the basketball as well. Um, and then, you know, like uh, Al said, when you see a guy playing that way uh, and doing that type of damage, then you as a teammate, you know, say to yourself, okay, well, I have to step my game up a little bit just to uh, help out with uh, what's going on. I know those threes haven't necessarily been there all year just percentage-wise for him, but, you know, he said throughout that, you know, he's going to keep shooting them. Has that kind of been your mentality towards him? Which is, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, you know, because, you know, last year, he was shooting the three ball with, at uh, over 40%. And what I tried to get him to understand was you're taking different threes than what you took last year. And what I meant by that was you're just settling. A guy is standing right there in front of you and you're jabbing shooting threes. Or, you know, you're just shooting threes with a, a, a late hand. And my thing has always been to any of our guys, if the ball is moving and it touches the paint, whether off the drive or in the post, and then it comes back out to you, I would take those threes all night. But just to pop it around the perimeter and nobody's being aggressive and just shoot it, those are not good threes for us. And I think he understood that a little bit better uh, tonight as well. We heard about you got, you know, Mexico, you know, a team you paid twice, you know, the gotcha. I know that game in Laramie probably when you want to put away, at least defensively. But you get, you always said you don't, it's hard to get caught up in the way they play. So is that the major message in to the team going into this game? Or what are some of the other keys going into tomorrow? Well, again, you know, a lot of people looked at the score and said it was defense. I thought it was our offense uh, that really hurt us uh, in the sense of uh, quick shots and turning the basketball over to where they got a lot of um, um, breakaway layups or um, uh, advantage breaks uh, against us. But even coming into this San Jose State game, you know, the, my main message to our guys was our best defense is taking care of the basketball and shot selection. So it wouldn't be any different uh, getting prepared for New Mexico because they do want to speed you up. And we're a team that likes to play with tempo as well, but you have to understand, or we have to understand at the end of the day, advantage versus disadvantage. There's going to be opportunities, you know, just like I told them about this team. They want you to pop it around the perimeter and just settle for threes. You know, like watching the Utah State. Utah State, I think, like 40, 40 threes in the game that they end up losing. And, you know, Utah, I mean, Mexico is a little different in the sense of they just want to pressure you and get you going fast, and then you shoot the ball in six to eight seconds. And was it really a good shot for us? And I think that's what we have to figure out uh, when getting prepared for them. Because if it's not, then we have to make them play uh, defense uh, uh, in the half court. Coach, I guess how was Hunter feeling coming into this one? I know he got in there in the second half. Um, just needed to warm up. You know, it's been a little sore. Uh, obviously, he actually hadn't practiced. Him, actually, Lou didn't practice either um, the couple times before getting out here. 
But, you know, there was a point in the game I went down and, and talked to Lance and, and see if it was okay to put him out there just to get him going. I thought he looked pretty good, to be honest with you, moving-wise. Um, but, you know, again, you know, move on, uh, do a lot of preparation for New Mexico tonight. And, and, and that will present a different challenge in the sense of uh, style of plays different from San Jose versus uh, New Mexico.